Welcome, friends. It is I, your host, Last Scarf, and it's time for our newest god, and here it is, Apollo. Now, he's got the same background as Aphrodite. I'm wondering if they're just making it the same background for everyone, or just for the Greeks, or what, but we'll see when the newest god or goddess comes out for that. So, he looks, uh, this is the dude to play beer pong with. That's what he looks like, basically. This is the guy right here. So, as usual, we're going to start out with, uh, well, this as the opener, and then we're going to look at the patch notes, also look at him, look at the new skins... After that, we're going to go into Joust and play with his abilities for a little bit. And then finally, we'll do Conquest with him. So that'll be the whole setup as usual, and we'll see how it, all of it goes. And see you at the next screen. Okay, so let's check out the new UI here. So here's something. There's Apollo there. Having fun with his chariot. That we got here. This is pretty cool right here. <laughs> you can read what the mode of the day is going to be and match it to the day, I mean. And today, it is the Norse Gods and Random. That's pretty cool. And there's, of course, the new skins, like Feaster Bunny and Apollo skin. And this is cool. It shows you how, how many friends are online and who they are. So here he is, Feaster Bunny. Creepiest thing ever. One of my favorite gods. Creepy as hell. Totally wish I had the gems for this guy, because this is a creepy-ass thing. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is... That is that's just a scary thing. It's also limited, so if you want to get it, you got to get it mm, quick, I believe. Then there's this guy, the Cocker Demon. So, release date hasn't been mentioned yet, and they said they're going to give us a couple weeks when they do mention the release date. So for you, those of you who are not level 30, there's still plenty of time to get it. So that's good news. I forget how long it took me. People say it takes about 400 matches to get it. I don't know if that's correct or not. But that's what they say. So, 400-ish matches. Then there's UI here. Just uh, nothing too new here. A uh, weird bug going on right now. When you click on social, it puts you in a party. Like, let's see here. I'm in a party. What the hell? Uh, I'm in a party. It's odd. Uh, uh, so I'll just, I'll mention that in the forums. Uh, remember, when you see a bug, you gotta tell the forums so they see it. Because if no one tells them, then they're not gonna know. They, they might find it themselves, but who knows? It's always good to tell them. Let's see over here. So we're gonna check out the gods now. So here's Apollo. Let's check out his other skin. Slick shot. Eh, eh, no, no, I don't really care for it. Let's see here, other skins. Oh yeah, there's Kali skin for the convention, for packs. Also, not the biggest fan of it. It looks like Kali doesn't understand what lipstick's for, and she decided to put it on her entire body. That's what it really looks like to me. She just lipsticked it up. Then there's raw skin, which is going to be changed. Right now, it's just a blue thing with the uh, alien wear in the middle. Uh, it's... When they, they're going to do a remodel of Raw, I hope it's just this one, but they might do a full remodel for all the skins. I'm hoping it's just this one. Because it's a little creepy, the new Raw, and I, I like the old Raw right now. Then there's, of course, the Feaster Bunny, like we just saw. It's loading up at the moment. There it is, Feaster Bunny. Creepy as hell. And I don't remember if I ever showed Butcher, so here's Butcher. So he's in basically dried blood, that's the way I see it. Alright, so let's take a look at Apollo now. So Apollo, overview. So his his passive is Audacity. What happens is like Cupid, after 10 shots, uh, something happens. For him, it is his next 5 shots have 100% attack speed increase. So basically, his next 5 shots are going to be really freaking fast, because they're twice as fast as normal. So I can see people setting up for the Audacity, and then doing their other moves that set something up, and then hitting them with this up close. So it's, it makes him seem like a very strong AD, especially when you think about early on. If you can time it right with whoever you're teamed up with, you get those 10 shots ready, then you have them open up the opposing lane a little bit, and then you just take those 5 shots on somebody. It might hurt him, might kill him, who knows, but it's a pretty good sounding open you can do. Then there's the other abilities that, they all sound like good opens for Apollo, but Apollo would have to set them up himself. There's So Beautiful, which is a skill shot, line shot, does an, a very nice amount of damage, 300, 80% of your physical power. Now, the thing about that is, looking at the, the mana cost, the cooldown of it, you can look at Ra, who's comparable. His beam is slower, does a little bit less damage, and has a, a little less power contribution as well. And it costs uh, more mana, though. So, it's, uh, I don't know, Apollo's hitting a little hard for an AD with, with this one right there. But... Uh, we'll see how that goes. And then there's Serenade. Now this is another thing I'm going to compare to another god. This is a basically a stun with the Mesmerize. The only other Mesmerize in the game, I believe, is 
Cupid's alt, which is pretty hard to land, but when you land it, they're basically stunned. They're wobbling around from the mesmerization. So it's basically a stun for 2.3 seconds. This is actually longer than Ymir's stun by 0.05 seconds, which isn't much. While Ymir's uh, stun is a cone, this one is an AoE around the guy. So Ymir gets people in front of him, this guy can get everyone around him. But it's it, but it to the size of it, of course. I don't know how big it is. Hopefully it's not too huge. It also has less cooldown. Ymir's stun is 18 seconds, while this cooldown goes down to 13 seconds. So there's that as well. The mana cost is also, I believe, cheaper than Ymir's. Let's take a look at Ymir really quick here. Uh, the mana cost is 80. For him, it is 75 flat. So, yeah, it's cheaper than Ymir's, longer than Ymir's at the final level. Doesn't do damage, though. That is one difference. It doesn't do damage, but a cooldown is shorter. Then we have the moves, which is... I'm going to keep comparing other gods. A dash forward? Like, uh, like I said, Shibalanka's dash, he goes forward, but for him, he slides down, uh, and at the end of the dash, it does an AoE. So, as he's sliding, everything he hits will give him, uh, stacks to his audacity. It also bounces them back, and they get hit for this damage. At the end of the AO- at the end of the dash is an AoE. And the AoE will debuff opponents and will buff teammates for movement speed, so... For, for only two seconds, so it, it gives your teammates uh, a little boost of movement, and it gives your opponents, well, of course, a, a, de a debuff so that you can hurt them better with your ability. So basically, you can move in with the moves, get your audacity hopefully up to 10, shoot them with the audacity. Uh, if they're still trying to get away, you can serenade them, and then you can finish them off with So Beautiful if they're still getting away. And even if they get away, they're still your alt, which is a very interesting one right here. Across the sky. Basically, you jump into the air just like Thor, except I believe it's instantaneous. You don't have a build-up to this. You go instantaneously up in the air to do your ult. And the longer you're in the air is how much mana goes out, uh, goes away, so you better make sure you have plenty of mana when you use this. So that you can choose your shots. So you're up in the air for a while, and you can use this to escape out back to your base. You can use this from base to get forward to attack people, or whatever you want to do. If a person gets away, you can use this to kill them. And the way it works is you land, and then you do tick damage. And it only lasts for 0.8 seconds, so that's pretty fast quicks, uh, pretty fast ticks. And you do basically 4 ticks, so let's see, the final one is 120. So you're doing about 480 damage at the end of it without power contribution. There's of course power contribution, which will make it even better. So it's not super strong, but it's got very good maneuverability, that's for sure. So as you can tell, Apollo is definitely an AD character. He doesn't have much defense. But he's got plenty of mobility as, they, as they're showing. He's got range and all that. He's going to hit pretty dang hard with these abilities, I think. And I think the best setup you can do is do the moves to set everything up, serenade if you need to, finish them off with the So Beautiful if your AD is not good enough, and then even if they get away, you can always catch up with this across the sky. Or you can dive and use across the sky to get the hell out of there. He has probably the best escape in the game. It's even better than Thor's because he can get the hell out of there pretty good. And it only costs... Um, let's say, let's see here, 10 plus 50, so maybe 210 should be enough to get you away from everybody, pretty good. So that's a pretty good ult, pretty dang nice. So, that's him and we'll see all that soon enough. Let's get on to the patch notes. Okay, let's go over the patch notes, besides all the UI and stuff, let's look specifically at abilities, items, and gods. So, abilities. So, they got rid of a global cooldown. A uh, thing that happened to active abilities and items. The way it worked is sometimes when you get hit with certain abilities, your items would go into cooldown. Not that they were used, but that you could just couldn't use them. And this is pretty frustrating for anyone trying to use their Aegis or their beads or a potion of some kind. So they found a way to get rid of that. So now that doesn't happen anymore. Speaking of Aegis and beads, two things have happened. The Aegis has been reduced by 0.5 second duration, meaning it used to be 2 seconds, now it's 1.5 seconds. This is both a good thing and a bad thing depending on the ult you're dealing with. If you're dealing with something like Hades, it's a bad thing because the longer the Aegis lasts, the less damage you're taking from Hades. Same thing goes for Freya's ult, maybe Guan use depending on what you're timing for, Anubis' ult. There's a couple ults where it hits you for a while and you would rather have the Aegis be longer. And then there's the abilities that are just one-hit blasts, like, say, Hebo's Wave, or Poseidon's Alt, 
or just a couple other alts, you would rather have the Aegis uh, be shorter because once you once you get hit with the alt and it doesn't do anything, you want to be able to move and get the hell out of there. Because I've fought plenty of people where they do the Aegis and they're stuck there because they're still there because of how long the Aegis lasts and then I'm just able to beat them to death right after the alt. So that's what that's for. So depending on the alt you're dealing with, this is good and bad. Then there's beads. Now you can activate beads while popped up in the air. Some people don't understand why that is, and my understanding is this is the best guess I have as to why, and the reason for it is pop-ups and combos following that. You get popped up by Bacchus or anyone else who has a pop-up, and you can get hit with Thor's stun or Anubis' mummification or Ymir's stun, all these things. You get popped up at the start by, the, by someone like Bacchus or Hercules, and then there's nothing you can do about uh, the next stun that's coming. With this, you can do beads mid-air, and stop the combo and get the hell out of there. Basically, that's the way I see the beads being used for that. So that's what I see. And then finally, there is a new ability. This ability is called Portal. So the way I understand it, we'll try it out in Joust with Apollo. But my understanding of it is, you make a portal anywhere on the map, you go back to base, and then you can use the ability again to go back to that portal. I might be wrong, we'll see soon enough when we get into the Joust. But if that's how it works, what that does is that helps you basically not have to worry about leaving your lane for a while. You're, you're not going to be, you're going to get a little behind as always when you recall, but it'll be less so. And also you can use that for ambushes and such and such. Like if you want to be at a specific spot, but you need to recall, you can just go back to that spot again. So it's, it's an interesting item. I think this ability be very useful for certain gods. And we'll see what guys I'll probably want to use it for. It's definitely, I think, useful for supports because then they can get around quick. And a couple other classes for sure. Like, maybe Arachne could use it. Like, it'd be useful for where well, you go back to base and you get back to the attack. It'd be pretty useful for that. Actually, I think I might try that out with Arachne at some point. And I think it'd be useful. Let's move on to items. So, the Bracer Replenishment has been reduced by 400 gold total. Uh, it's reduced by, th hmm, reduced by 300 for the second purchase, and it's reduced uh, by total at the end by, by 400. So basically, reduce 300 at the second level, and then an extra 100 re reduction for the final thing. So that's, that's pretty, that makes it a lot cheaper. I find that item very useful, so that's useful to me. Next is Ethereal Staff. I really like this item for tanks and mages. Because it gives you a lot of mana and HP. We can, we can actually look at it over here. What am I doing? So we'll look at the item over here. Here it is. The Ethereal Staff down here. So it gives now... It still gives 600 health and 300 mana. But it used to give regen for magic and, and health. But now it gives 30 power. And it gives 2% of your maximum health is converted to magical power. It used to be 1.5%. So that's what they did to the Ethereal Staff. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I like the old one. We'll see how I like the new one when the time comes. Another change is the height of the Nimian Lion. Let's see, where is it? Over here. The bounce back is now magical damage instead of physical damage. Uh, some people think it's a nerf. I think it's a buff. And the reason why I feel it's a buff is because of Void Blade. If you're an AD, there's a good chance you have a Void Blade. And the Void Blade gives you physical defense. And now that physical defense uh, does not negate the 30% coming back at you. It, not completely negate, but negates part of it. So, I find this uh, a better use of the Nimian Lion. Of course, if the, if the AD is bu building any defense towards magic, then this is less important. But I see this more of a counter towards Void Blade than anything. See, next up is the Hydra's Lament. Now, Hydra's Lament has been changed a bit. It's also, let's see here. Yep, yeah, it's been changed a bit, that's it. So, the Hydra's Lament, this passive has been changed. For five seconds after using ability, your basic attack is 125% of your base physical power. So for someone like Loki, this is an amazing ability because you do alt and then you hit with this and they are going to get hurt like hell. And then you just finish them off with like one or two more hits from Loki. So this is really great for a burst character like Loki. This might be useful for, well, Rachne could use it, I guess. When she does her pull, then she hits you for a lot of damage for her first part, part of the bite. Not the bite, for the first part of her setup for the bite, when she hits you three times for the poison. 
So it could be useful for that and other things like that. Maybe Bastetta could be useful. She pounces on you, hits you, and then pounces back. Stuff like that. So it might be useful. Then there is Yotan's Wrath, which this one I don't understand a lot. They've given physical penetration and they've cut the mana in half. Um, I don't see me using this item. I don't know who's going to use this item. I I don't know. It's great for cooldown. But that's... Um, I like the mana because you need the mana for certain ADs. And now I find it less viable. So, not the biggest fan of that one. Next up is the gods. So there have been a couple changes to the gods. And uh, let's see here. Ra, his heal has been boosted back up a little bit. What the hell am I doing? His, his heal's been boosted up some more. The damage has not been boosted, but the heal has. And Aphrodite's birds do the same amount of damage as Ra's heal does. So that those numbers, same thing for her birds. But I believe, let's see, your contribution is 15%. So there's that. So basically she can harass a little bit better. She can also kill lanes better with this. Uh, what else is there? Oh, Vamana has been boosted in two powers. His clear path has been boosted from 40% to 60%. And his... Umbrella Ring has been boosted from 20% to 40%. Finally, there is Zeus. And what happened is his Aegis Shield has been boosted up to 55 at the end of it. This is what it was a long time ago prior to stats, I believe. And then they took away his defense and now it's back. So Zeus is how he was a long time ago. So this is good for him. He gets more defense. Oh, and there's one more thing. Very important. Bastet has a boost to her. Her pounce now does more things. She pounces on you, and at that point, for those four seconds, she has 25% increased movement speed. Also, during those four seconds, if she has any crowd control on her, she can break it when she pounces back to her original position. So, my understanding is she can get out of a stun, she can, she can negate slow, she can... She gets drunk, she takes care of that. Any crowd control, she cancels out and goes back to where she was. So this is great for Bastet in that it lets her poke better without fear of getting killed. So that's quite useful and it's just and for people who like Bastet, it's a step in the right direction because uh, Bastet has not been in a lot of matches lately. People just have not been using it. They find other gods more viable. And I've seen this and I agree there's pretty dang good gods. I still like her but I have not done very well through myself either. This is an interesting idea and we'll see how well that goes. And that should be everything. Up next is going to be Joust. Oh, you guys gotta hear the way he talks. Let's hear this. Here it is. Apollo! Apollo! Let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. Hear it again. Apollo! Apollo! One more, one more time, one more time. Apollo! Apollo! Alright, let's do this. Let's get this going already. I just like the way he says it. Apollo! Alright, let's try out Apollo and Joust, and then we will get to the conquesting. Oh, nice! I like that. Little helpful thingies for people while they're loading. Wow, Apollo looks badass right there. It's a shame he doesn't actually look badass when he's standing. That is a pretty cool looking Another thing. Performance already. Well, I guess they can't get enough of me. I guess not. I guess, I guess. Oh, let's see here. Apollo might actually be a worthy person for the Otons when I think about it. Just because uh, cooldown reduction, so his one has more and then has some penetration and there's a little power on it and a little bit of mana. For him, it might be viable just as a cooldown item besides getting, well, the Hydras. Actually, I'd rather get the Hydras than the Yotan. Forget what I said. I'd rather get the Hydras. If I had a choice between these two, it'd be the Hydras. But getting both and you would be at, let's see here, you'd be at the cap, alright. Okay, let's uh, stop talking and get the items we need. So we we'll get the Tabby. And I forgot to get, I was going to get the portal, so we'll try that portal out soon enough. But let's move on out for now. Let's check out the abilities and then we'll do the portal next. So he's got this little fill-up bar, like uh, Poseidon, for his 10 shots. Kind of feel like Cupid should have that for the hello, just because Cupid has a 10 shot passive as well. Let's move on up. He's just marching out like that. Ah, right, here we go. So his shots at the start are a little slowish. Pretty cool, he's using his crossbow things. Pretty interesting idea. I did not keep count of how many shots I've taken. There you go, so next five will be fast. Two, three, four, five. So they're faster. You see all that damage he did right there? That's pretty good. We'll probably want to follow that with the other abilities, of course. So let's try out this one. And then stun him with Mesmerize, and then shoot that out, and that did some good damage. 
Now, the question I, I need to ask about that is, I don't actually know if it goes through enemies or if it just hits the first target. So that'd be good to know. So let's find out in a second if this skill shot goes through targets or just hits one person. If it just hits one person, I'd actually prefer that for an AD. Just because if it goes through everything, then that's basically a stronger version of Razzle, uh, 1. And I'm not the biggest fan of doing that, so let's see here. It goes through everything. Okay, so it's a stronger version of, uh... It's an AD version of Razzle, uh, 1. Raz 1 is stronger until you start putting, uh, contribution on it, seeing as how his is 70. While Apollo's is... Uh, 80. So... Raz is stronger as far as base goes, but Apollo's is stronger when you get the contribution involved. So let's get this going. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'll get killed. This tower's too strong at the start. Towers are so OP. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go through. If I can hit him with the tip of it and do the AoE, that'd be great. So we're going to try to do that. Here we go. There you go. Mesmerize. Oh, I'm out of mana. So I'm just doing some really nice damage there. So just picture that at the final level, just how that would kill Ra, because he gets like a five free shots at Ra. Free in, uh, in A&D, he can kill you with five free shots pretty easily, especially when they have crits. So here's Apollo building this up. Okay, let, we got enough. Let's go back and check out the portal, see how that thing works out. We got five shots ready. And there's nothing about whether those would go away. I'm going to tab because I can. Now let's go ahead and get that portal. And, uh... Well, it doesn't really matter what we get. Let's get Motivate just so we can see it, because I've never actually looked at this thing. No one has used Motivate in the history of me playing this game. But I think it would be more useful in Joust, probably. Just because you can make your guy stronger for a push. That's probably a good time for it, is when you're pushing a tower. But after that, I don't know. Now, given the Phoenix weapons, maybe it'd be pretty cool. So, let's see here. Just doing those five shots, just shooting them off pretty quick. Picture those things with cap attack speed. It'd be pretty good. I'm not going to let them push out so I can actually do some damage to Ra. Now, these things, of course, don't build up from shooting. They build up from hitting targets. Just like uh, Cupid's uh, passive. Whoop. Hit them because I can. There we go. Pretty aggressive Ra right there, so just let them push it back so I can do this. So I'm going to do a combination of... Let's see here. We're probably going to open with... Uh, See, open with the three, mesmerize, then do the one. Well, after doing the five shots. So, here we go. Here it comes. There we go. Mesmerize. Do the one. And one, two, three, four, five. Do my alt. Okay, so there is a bit of a thing before doing it. Okay. Landing down. Oh, that takes some aim. That takes some aiming. Now, okay, so he does have a, like, one second startup. It's a bit quicker than Thor's, but he still has the startup. So, let's see how portal works. So, you just put one down. Alright, now I don't know if that's visible to my opponent. So then I go up. Recall takes me to here. Okay. Okay, and my portal's right there. So I can go ahead and get... Let's see here. So let's get attack speed just to see how it looks. Get some attack speed. Now we just go to the portal. And it takes me back to it. Okay, so that's how it works. Alright. So that's useful. So I'm in the back, so I'm going to maybe get killed here. Okay, um, let's just run right on through this. Huh! Got him. Hit him with that. Nice damage. Not enough to kill him because I didn't build this up. Not noticing the attack speed a little. Not not noticing attack speed that much right now. There we go. Let's put this up. One, two, three, four, five. Just look at that. And the, that hits him and he's dead. Pretty nice. Okay, I think that's everything. One more thing I want to check is just how long uh, the alt actually lasts, depending on the mana. So I'm going to go back to base. Ah, uh, shit, I'm going to put the three up, not the two. Now, the two could be very useful if you level that up max first, just for setting it for your teammates. Oh, this is also useful. It builds up from towers as well, so you can destroy a tower quicker with him as well. Nice. Run on through, do the moves, serenade them, and then just shoot the crap out of things. All right, so we're going to go back to base. Oh, I can, I'm going to do the motivate. Oh, crap. Ooh, nice. Heal up my team. Oh, it doesn't heal them up. It just makes them stronger. So we're going to go back. I want to see how much how much distance we can make with this ult. just want to see it really quick. So here it is. I messed up. But here we go. So I'm making a lot of ground here. Look at how much ground I can cover with this ult. And then bam. Boom, right there. Go over to him. Serenade him. Nope, missed it. 
Now, of course, I'm low on mana, but if you give him Meditate, then that doesn't really matter. Whoop! So that's interesting. Okay, so that's enough of that. I got some ideas on what I'm going to do when I do the actual battle, so... Let's go ahead and get on into an actual conquest. Okay, there we go. Should be done with that. So we're going right with Poseidon or Loki. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, but we'll see soon enough. So this Arachne is opening with eggs at this and over here. It's not a bad open. I still like my red open though. So this is how we're going to do this. Not sure how this is going to go whatsoever. Uh, huh? I have, I have no idea what's going on with these guys. It's been a lot of people yelling at each other lately. I'm not sure what's going on. Well, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be fine. Okay. Um, none of us can take a punch. Who's going to do it? I guess it'll have to be me because I have a potion. Here we go. There we go. I hope that my one hit, I really do. So now I'm going to step back as I shoot. Ah, oh, he couldn't do that earlier. Couldn't do that earlier when there was only like... Well, oh, I got the speed. Okay, here we go. Alright, so here we go. And I got the speed so I can go this way if I want. So I am. Enemies will be. I am not sure who we're going to do with. Hopefully Vulcan. Nope, it's Thor and Anubis. Those are two melees on the left. I really think one of them should switch out with me. I should probably replace one of them. Well, maybe they can take on Vulcan. Who knows? Although I do think uh, it's more of a thing for... Okay, we got Thor. We got Thor. Does he have his hammer? No, he doesn't. Good job. There we go. Protect him. Protect him. There we go. VVGN. There we go. We got that Thor. Good job to us on that one. Uh, we're going to get this Anubis in a second as well. Woo! Potion. All right. Save my life. I should have used a potion earlier. I could have pursued him as myself. BVGN. So I'm just going to stick around. We're doing pretty good on the right. Looks like that Vulcan is pushed back, so that's nice. Can I need to use another potion, maybe? Yeah, one more potion after this. Definitely going to want to use another potion after this. Keep hitting those minions from this distance. Pretty good. Hit that Thor if I can. Nope. Not close enough to hit the Thor. Got to use another potion now. There it is. This attack speed is nice from the from the buff. I'm liking it. It's letting me do more. See, this Anubis probably has mummification now, so I do have to be careful of that. I went with the Aegis because there's more things to worry about than two stuns. But I have to watch out for that mummified. If I get mummified, I will die a horrible death, even with Loki here. I don't. I can't take much of a punch. I'm pretty sure. I have low defense. Oh, luckily, I wasn't that in time. Okay, well, they're pushed back, so we can't really push. We can't really go for a kill. They'll just go back to their tower. But they are a little starved, so that's good. Just let that tower kill those guys. It's useful. Missing that Thor right now? Oh, that's a shame, missing that Thor that many times. We're going to let these guys push, now that I think about it. So, backing off. Holy crap. Backing off. The fact I wasn't mummified right there, I don't know. I should have been mummified. Going for it. Got him. Mesmerize! Got him, mesmerized him. Loki can finish him where I can. Got him, there we go. That Thor gets away. BVGN again. We're doing a good job as a combination here. I wasn't sure because we're both pretty weak on the defense, but we're getting some good kills here. Arachne unfortunately died. Should probably help with a uh, left at some point. Definitely going to want to help with left. I'm going to go help left, I think. Shoot him. Oh, can't shoot him. There we go. Hit him with that one. Okay, gonna go help left. Gonna go help left. Or do I have enough for the Tabby? Okay, once I finish the Tabby, I'll do that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, going back. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. I don't have any potions, though. Mesmerize. Get him. There we go. I'm shooting Anubis. It's all on what Loki does with that all to his. Oh, okay. He used his, uh, he used his, he used his teleport, so I don't have to worry about that. I just need to juke him this way. Mesmerized him. There we go. Ah, oh, shoot. I ran out of mana. That's my own fault. I'm dumb. Loki can get it. Oh, he got caught. That was my fault. 
I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, so let's get back out there. Shoot, I definitely made a mistake there. I could get there quickly with my ult, but it will not be quick enough to catch them to kill them before they teleport back. Although that Thor is still there? Hmm. Okay, he's still there. He's holding the tower. That Apollo's in trouble by Poseidon. Can Poseidon kill him in time is a good question. The answer is looking like a no. No, let's just help out here. We're gonna help out. I Poseidon got killed chasing. And I'm gonna kill him with mine. Got him. There we go. Woo! Get out of there with the moves. Now we're gonna go back to base and heal up. We got a kill. I don't think Poseidon should have pursued that hard. Okay, let's see here. Loki's in the jungle. There's no Loki on our, on their team. For a moment I was like, wait, wait, wait. No, no, it's our team. Here you go. So I used the ult. It worked out and I had to run back to base. That was a good time for a portal if I had it. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. 4-3 to three right now. Mina and uh, Loki have all the kills. Your left tower is under attack. Fortunes can change at any point for either team at the moment. There is Anubis. There is Thor. Okay. They may or may not see me. I hope they haven't seen me. I hope they see Loki, though, so they can do something about him. And then get caught by me! There we go. Don't get caught by... Ah, I got caught by it. Mesmerize. There we go. He's dead. Good job there. Now I gotta get the hell out of here. Use a potion. No, 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 no. Okay. No, he gets away, he gets away, he gets away. He gets away. Slow him down. Got him. Woo! That was very nice. Good job there. BVGN. Nice Woo! Holy crap, the only on that one. That is not gonna be a happy oh, Thor now. So we're gonna get this. We got a potion back in person. Let's go help out left. Gonna help left. There we go. Your right tower is under attack. Calling missing enemy right. missing right. See your Hebo and Vulcan. They're doing a good job keeping them down. So I'm gonna jump in there and try to do something. Now I might get killed horribly trying to, but I'm hoping I don't. Here we go. Use the alt as an open because it takes so long to just cast. Doing it! Mesmerize. Did the moves backwards, whoops. Hit him, hit him. Potion, potion. Hit Hebo, he's gonna try to do the wave. Yeah, he did the wave, I knew that. Oh wow, my teammates are really, really beat up over here. Not strong enough for these guys. Okay, left is not strong enough to these guys. Um, Gonna need to gank better. <laughs> than me. We're gonna need to gank better than me. We're gonna need to gank better than me, so I'm gonna need Poseidon or something. That was pretty bad by me. Maybe when I get penetration with the axe. But right now, I don't have enough to do anything. That was just pathetic by me. Gonna need to turn this around some. We're doing just fine on the right. It's the left and the mid a little bit, but mostly the left that's in trouble. Like, they're, they're not losing the tower, but... They're getting pushed back, and I don't know what they're going to be able to do there. They're definitely getting starved out there. I, I'm going to... Let's see here. Right's in trouble. i got to cool out here. She's going to go for the mana. She's going for the mana. She's going... Just, oh, well, let's just get the mana already. Let's get that. Somebody get it. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Going over to the right. Get this next piece. Add a potion. Get the potion. Get the potion. There it is. Okay, so the right's going to get pushed a second by the minions. Poseidon's going after uh, Anubis because he was at the mana. He got him. Good job there. VVG in there. Enemies are missing right. At least Thor's missing. I should farm up, actually, because I'm not too effective just yet. Once I get penetration, I can probably be more effective. That's probably a good idea. It's two on one over there. They should have it. I got my ult with Apollo if I'm needed. Am I needed? Is it two on two now? Oh, there's Thor doing his ult. How's it looking over there? Oh, let's go help out. Let's go help out. Retreat. Apollo jumping down. Let's see if I can jump down on Apollo. No, I didn't. I didn't. 
Ah, I dashed into nothing. Ah, uh, darn this wall! Shoot, okay, so that sucked. I'm not gonna kill a dang person here. Maybe, got him. No, I didn't! Ah, oh, shoot, I thought I had him. That is a shame, that is a shame. So nothing doing there. That is a dang shame. I already did my ult, so nothing going on with that either. Oh, Hebo's here, that's a bad sign. Bad sign, bad sign. Get out of there. Woo! Woo! Dead. I'm gonna die a horrible, horrible death. Yep. Nothing I can do about that. Still got a while before I can get my next item. Shoot. So, oh shoot, left is getting destroyed pretty bad. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? I don't know. I do not know. That's my problem. I don't know. Doing alright with 333, three, three, but that's not going to win this thing. Hmm. I should wait for penetration. Let's get, let's farm up like a crazy person right now. Seems like the best plan at the moment to me. Let's do that. We were three, like three one three zero, but now we're three three. So whoops on me for that. Let's finish these guys off. Got to farm up. Dying three times has put me behind. Farm up better. Let's see our Thor's over there. Apollo's right there. Arachne is not going to be able to do anything against that. Let's go ahead and get more jungle going. I gotta finish off this penetration item already. Should have finished. Should have finished it a while ago. It's my own fault for not finishing it. Oh no, that tower's in trouble. Let's kill this really quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now. There. Okay. Shoot, they caught Loki. That's a shame. Here I am to get caught in a mummification mid, mid dash. That's a shame. Nice one with the Kraken. Very nice. BBGN. That was a good save by him. Good job to Poseidon. There we go. Take these guys out. There we go. Now, I cannot return the favor at the moment. I gotta go back to base. I'll do my ult to help. That's what I'll do. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do our ult. See what we can do with that. Actually, do we want to do our ult for this? No, I don't think so. Let's, let's hold it back. Hold back. Wait for someone low and use the ult on that. Ymir is dealing with Vulcan. Hmm, I'm only 10? Jeez, I'm only 10. I think I've been running around too much. Vulcan looks like he's... Ah, great. I'm gonna wanna not deal with that. What's he building, by the way? Now, he's building the same thing, except he's got the vampire thing. Your middle tower is under attack. Shoot, he killed the tower. tower he gets away, that's a shame. Get this, then, while we're here. <laughs> See if we can get this really quick. I hear Thor, which is a bad sound to hear right now. Let's see here, where is Thor? I heard him. There's no one even fire giant this early, so... Hmm, there's Hebo, someone who can kill me horribly. Well, let's see what I can do to him, let's see. I got attack damage now. Got there! Mesmerize, you're dead. Okay, there we go. Sheesh. That worked out. And he's missing middle. Let's see here. Loki's over there. Loki's in trouble. Let's go help him out. Alting! Can I get the Loki in time? The answer is no, because it's three on one over there. Crap. I'm gonna head over here and see what I can do to this. Ah, ah, just barely not enough. That's a shame. Going back. Just barely not enough. I could have bounced down there, maybe killed uh, Anubis before things got bad. Uh, let's go jungle this spot really quick. Actually, there's minions here. Let's go take care of that. Okay, let's see here. Enemies are missing right. They are. Oh shoot, they are definitely missing right. Kill those guys. No, t no telling where they are at the moment. Clear these out some more. Hmm, their Anubis is nine. Well, that makes up for things. So I'm not actually sure who is the who is in trouble right now. Maybe we're even. Let's get back to base here. Work on that beat stick. I'm doing my usual 80 build. An enemy has been slain. Hmm, good job to Arachne on that one. Okay, here we go. 
Those two are over there. How are we doing? We are winning on levels. Let's see here. 14. They have a 15. No, we're losing on levels. Oh, crap. Okay, so that's less good. Oh, there's Vulcan. What am I doing? Let's go help out the team. Should be able to kill that Hebo if done correctly. Or at least... Oh. Well, we don't want to lose the tower. They're fine over there. They're... Loki died. Crap! Okay, we're losing this tower no matter what. What am I doing? And they got a double kill! Oh, shoot. Looks like I should have helped. Looks like I should have helped mid instead of right. Darn it. Made a bad judgment call, apparently. That is a dang shame. Oh, well, let's get going back to this. Shoot! Just barely not enough. Because of mitigation and all that. Can Ymir get the kill? I don't think he can. He dies. But I can get the kill. Let's finish him off. Finish Evo. Finish him off. There we go. I wasn't expecting him to run in my direction. I thought I was going to have to find him. Oof. Let's do this. Okay, who on their team can heal? Hmm. No one. No one. No one. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Crits and lifesteal. Crits and lifesteal. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. You don't always build for passive. I mean, you don't always build for passives. Okay, um... Alright. Let's hear what they have to say. Okay, well, here we go. Hmm. If it didn't work, I wouldn't do it. Be right back. If it didn't work, I wouldn't do it. Okay, let's see here. You don't always play for passive. Sometimes you play for base stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, if I get distracted anymore from those guys, I'll just mute them because I don't want to deal waste time talking about builds instead of trying to win this game. Let's see here. All right. Hmm. There's a lot of crap going on over there. Nothing I can do about it. Well, I can if I hurry up and get my butt over there. Actually, we should kill a tower already. We're down on Retreat. towers at the moment, aren't we? We're down Retreat. by one. Let's try to get a tower down. I can only use my ult, I think, to get over there. Oh, more minions. Here we go. We're going to get this tower down and then get the hell out of here with ult, I think. Shoot, our team's getting destroyed, though. All right, well, we got rid of that. Let's push this some more. They're not here yet. Jeez. All right, here we go. Some more. Here we go. How are we looking over here? Okay, so that tower's going to get destroyed, so I may as well keep pushing this tower. They destroy that one? I better destroy this one. I'm about to lose my last minion, though, so i got to back off a second. I'm trying. I'm trying. They're going to kill our tower, so i got to keep killing their tower. That's the only thing I can do. I'm too far away to do anything and no one's stopping me. There we go. I'm going to get attacked by Apollo and probably Anubis in a second, though. So let's push this up. Getting the hell out of here. Bye! Woohoo! Alright, there we go. This is such a ridiculous thing I can do by just getting the hell out of here with my, with my mana. Grouping up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Boop! There we go. Hey, buddy! So now there's three, right? I saw three on the way here, so tell them that there's three, right? Uh, there's Hebo, and there's Apollo, and also, I forget who else is out here. But I don't see where they are. But we're going to run into them as we head out here. Let's see here. Can we catch Hebo off over here? We got mesmerized if we need to. No, that didn't work out because of that. That there's his ult. And the wall came up too late. So backing away now. And that is a very dead Ymir. Crap. He did his ult though. Not enough to do anything. That's dead. He's done. Let's head over here. Oh, Arachne died. Ooh, Ymir died. Mesmerize. I'm gonna wanna get the hell out of here in a sec. Yep, too late. Hebo just kills me pretty hard. Dang. Oh, shoot. This is not so good. 
Okay, okay, let's see here. Now we're gonna go ahead and get... Let's see here. There we go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get this. One more, and then we can solve the Gold Fury. That'll be useful. Let's see here. Let's check out Loki here. Can he get the... Yeah, he got the kill. Okay, so Loki's doing alright. I'm doing alright. Poseidon's doing alright. Arachne and Ymir need a little work. They still have time, though, but we are getting killed here. We're getting killed 1321. That's not so good. Hmm. I need 900 gold, so let's work on that 900 gold. Doot, doot. Okay, here we go. Well, let's get a ward then, just in case. We haven't warded the fire giant, so let's go get one. Just to see if they've actually gone for it. See, they have a ton of wards? Oh, that's good to know. Okay, let's see here. No one has a ward over there. Let's do this really quick. Whoop. There we go. Alright, there we go. I'm getting killed a bit over there in the mid. Let's go see if they do have a ward out here. They do, and it's gone. But they'll get rid of my ward soon enough. They knew I'm over here because I just did that. I can't take a punch. Okay, what am I going to do here? Like, Hebo can kill me. Doesn't matter. Hebo can kill me pretty easy. And they got two turrets there. Let's take these out. Let's take them out so they're not here. Although they're not really fu for doing a function. What am I doing? Okay, let's get going. There's Hebo. He's killed by Loki. Slow these guys down. Slow down this Thor. Mesmerize him. Ah, couldn't mesmerize in time. Couldn't do enough. Well, that Yamiro... Nope, that Yamiro doesn't happen. I'm dead. Yep. I didn't have a dash or anything. I could have done my Aegis, but I don't think that would have done anything. And now Ymir is dead. Well, at least he got that kill. Let's see here. What's going on over here? Is it only him alive? It is only him alive. Our Fire Giant is now going to be in trouble. There's 40 seconds on me, 25 on around. So I got the longest. So... 30 seconds or less for everyone. They're not going for the fire giant right now. Hmm. They're doing, their Vulcan's doing a good job. Look at that. He's doing a good job. He's got the sash, this, this. Hmm. Pretty good build there. It's working out for him. And now he has the Void Stone. Hmm. Yeesh. That's an interesting build to look at. Might be worth looking into. Okay, let's see here. What's going on over here? He's... Oh, that's a dead Thor. Good job there. Nice job. Okay, let's see here. Let's build up the gold. Let's build the gold really quick. Here we go. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, let's get the gold here. Two, three, dunk. There we go. Alright. Okay. There we go. Save it the last four shots for something else. Oh, well, there's a ward there, so let's take it out. Let's take out that ward, and we'll get those minions over there. Oh, the ward burnt out anyway. Okay. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Yeesh. We're gonna go for the Gold Fury almost. It's almost time for it. A little bit more. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot, Arachne's in trouble over there. We need to stop engaging them in the team fights at the moment. We need to just catch up. Really do not think we're going to win much of these. Oh, there goes the Gold Fury. So there goes doing that. Can I help anyone? Let's see here. Hmm, not looking too great over here. There's that Apollo who's going to die to Loki. Okay, if he doesn't die to Loki, I'll take him out. I am following with my... Oh! Got him! Keep going! Ah, he did his moves. I'm not gonna get him. I gotta get the hell out of here now. Use that for behind me. I'm gonna get mummified if I'm not careful. If I don't juke right. Oh, there's Thor. Good job there. Mesmerize! Oh, crap. This is bad. Woo! Dashing this way. 
Uh-oh, and I'm dead to Hebo. That hurts. Hebo hurts. That's a shame. That is a shame. Yeesh. Not looking too good at the moment. Let's see here. Okay, so next up is going to be some crits. So let's see here. No. We lose, we deserve it. So let's see here. How are we going here? Oh, oh, oh no, he's dead. That's a shame. That is a shame. Okay, let's see here. 915, got to build up to that. Oh, I got to get another ward for the fire giants. Let's get that. Uh oh, uh oh. That's an interesting wall. I don't understand that wall. I okay. Let's see what let's see how Rackney's doing here. She is. I don't know. Okay, let's see how uh, Yamir's doing again. Nice. He can't get away. He did do that though. He's gonna die anyway. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and get. Oh shoot. Let's get another ward. Dash over. So we're gonna get a ward for both. The Fire Giant and the Gold Fury. I can solve the Gold Fury if there's no ward there. And the Fire Giant, just to make sure they're not there. Mm, we are in bad straits at the moment, though. Ah, oh, shoot. And she just up and dies. It's gone? Oh, shoot. Okay, so let's see if we can get the Gold Fury. If not, we can get we can alt the hell out. They don't have a ward here. I can give it a shot. We definitely need the gold. See what I can do with it. Gotta hurry it up. Do, do, do. There we go. Do the one. This is gonna take a second, though. But the gold to the team should be very useful. Yeesh, I took too long to get to this build. Her mitigation is... Not mitigation. Does she have mitigation? Her HP is definitely pretty high, though. Getting there. Getting there. Loki's still trying. As soon as I can get this, I can try some more. Yeesh, man, she takes a minute. So I will be pretty annoyed if someone shows up and takes this from me. And it's always a possibility. It's always a possibility. No, nope. And she's finished. There we go. Got her. Still can't take a hit from Hebo, though. Makes me feel like maybe she can get magical defense. But if I hit him first, then I don't have to worry about it. Shoot. Do they see me? No, they don't. I can help out from this direction. Now... Whoop! Mesmerize! Oh, mesmerized mid-alt. That's amazing. That was nicely done. He still gets away. He did his alt, right? I think so. I don't have the speed. There we go. He's done. There we go. Let's take this guy out. Darn it. Okay. So the fire giant... Yeah, they have the fire giant. Okay. Double checking about that. Eesh. Well, that was close. Sunbeam, because I can't. Oh, missed it. Sheesh. There we go, there we go. Mesmerized. We got him. Oh, shoot. I stole that one from Loki on accident. Oh, he got away. That's a shame. This tower is loving me a little too hard here. Sheesh. Getting the hell out of there. Okay, let's see here. I can probably life steal up. Yep, life steal up. Get, heal through life steal. There we go. Be right back. Healing through life steal. What's going on over there? Be Shoot, I went too far away. Really? There we go. Little more. Little more. There we go. There we go. So save the rest of this for later. Help out Loki in a second. Let's put this in here. Yep. Don't see one. How's Arachne doing? She is. Uh, she might win that. Let's go help her. Let's go help her. No. What the? Really? I got stuck on that? Oh, well, he gets away. What the heck happened there? I got stuck on this little rock right here. What the? On this bush? I got stuck on a bush. Wow, I got stuck on bush. Hey, buddy. No, you mesmerized. There you go. Man, I'm not doing much damage to him, though. Let's go on this way. See so if we can do something to their right tower. Yeah, do it really quick, then get the hell out. Come on, a little more, a little more. There we go. I I use my meditation so I can use my ult. I might still use my ult. Let's do this. Build up the audacity. Okay, save those last two. 
Let's see here. There's no one to use it on. Thor's here. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. People's gonna hurt like hell though. Whoa, they almost killed me. That was pretty damn close. Luckily I have enough mana to get the hell out of here. We're gonna just go back to base. It's a good idea. There we go. Let's see. Let's get more wards. And let's buy our next item. Which should be, of course, the... Oops, whoops, quits. There we go. 925 for the finish off the rage. Alright, it's doing alright here. We're doing alright. Fire Giant is not up yet. Oh, shoot. They're going to kill my ward. I got to hurt and kill that ward. Do they even see my ward? They have to see my ward. So there's two of them there. There's Hebo and... Okay, there's three of them there. I forgot about Vulcan. Let's take out that ward really quick. Okay, he took it. I can do a slow and stuff? I don't know. Oh, no, they see us. Let's back up. Let's back up. Hmm. Oh, here's a ward. Take it out. Shoot. Loki's going for it? Oh, shoot. Let's get back over there. Loki's going for Hebo. Good job to Loki on that one. Let's get a Mesmerize in this. Mesmerize! Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die a horrible death. I'm gonna die a horrible death. Get that. Just stop. There we go. I got body blocked a bit on that. Oh, good job killing Apollo. How are we looking here? He's trying to kill that Anubis. Slow him down. We can finish him off. Missed it by too close. I'm gonna kill that. Heal off of this. There we go. Healed off of it. That's a shame. Could not get two kills out of that. I messed that one up. I could have gotten some kills out of that one. So we gotta do some life stealing now. We're gonna life steal either the attack or they're gonna get it. So I'm gonna have to life steal through left lane. Here we go. That's a lot of things to kill on the left lane. Let's go take this out. Oh, fire giant's up. Okay. Well, that'll be something to deal with. Hup. Who keeps saying attack the mid? What? You must be saying that on accident. There we go. Oh no, it's gone. Oh shoot, my ward's gone. I have a new ward. What the hell am I doing? Unfortunately, if they're there, I'm gonna die a horrible death. A horrible, horrible death. Alright, let's find out. Oh, hit his first, hit his first. Got some good attack speed going here. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Get out of it. I gotta kill this thing before I can get over there. Kill this tower. Oh, that hurts. That hurts like hell. Kill his. There we go. So what happens when you have two? Okay, so let's see here. Well, they know we're here. It's not exactly a good place to fight. We can get killed pretty good. Retreat, retreat. Ah, darn, I couldn't kill the warden time. We have- we're forced to fight here. This is unfortunate. Oof. There we go, that's a good one. I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, oh, I'm dead. There we go. Best I could do! Best I could do with this! Oh, 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 oh. Gotta watch out for that Hebo. I'm hitting him, I'm hitting him, but I can't kill him. Woo! There's Apollo's entry! Ah, no, too weak. Got killed. Luckily, Loki's doing some damage. Can he kill him? No, Loki got killed as well. We well, we're, we have an advantage on numbers at the moment. Okay, there we go. VVGN. Good job there. We won that fight. Okay, let's see here. Deathbringer is up next. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's see here. Okay, she's showing restraint. Uh, Ymir did not show restraint. They need to back off. Back the heck off. There we go. That's a good one. Let's see here. So they need to back up. So they're backing up. This is a long haul of a fight here. So they have to do something about him. They can handle him. Oh, that's a bad thing to hit on accident. He needs his whirlpool. Oh, he got mesmerized. Ah, it er, needs Arachne. Arachne was not there at the right time, so Poseidon got killed. That's unfortunate. Oosh, what's he building anyway? He's building... Hmm, interesting. She got him. Okay, there we go. But all we can do is wait now. Vulcan will be back first before anyone else. So now we gotta get two more wards. Let's see here. 
Where is it? Where is it? There, a Deathbringer. Okay, so Vulcan can't solo it though, luckily. Oof, don't want to get Deathbringer, I want to get some magical defense. Honestly, physical is nothing to worry about, it's the magical I gotta worry about. I really want to get Stone of Gaia? I really want to get... Hmm, not Magi's Blessing, we'll get that. It's an amazingly good item to have when you, when you think about it. Ooh, shoot. Oh, she's in trouble. We can back her up, but he does have the Nimian Lion, so there's not too much I can do about him. Mm, she got away. She got away. Okay, so everyone's going to be back. Oh, I have wards on me. Should go take care of that uh, gold fear in a second. Do this. Come on. A little more, a little more. I hope you put a ward down. I'm gonna go put a ward down over here. There it is. Alright, so... They'll come back and put another ward down, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna need magical defense so I can deal with that uh, Nimian lion from Vulcan. See how this is gonna go here. Hmm. Well, I'll just kill it. There we go. They got a lot of wards. Luckily, the towers don't go for the wards. Okay. Can we protect Loki while he does it is the question. Is that, a, is that a, one of our wards? That is one of our wards. Okay. So everyone's back up. I can solo it. A couple people can solo it. But the problem is being able to hit it for that long. No one wants to fight for that long. Shoot. Uh-oh, Ymir. Yep. Oh, I'm out. I'm out hitting him right now. Good job to Loki. No, that can't break it. What am I thinking? Shoot. Kills going back and forth right now. Yeah, I'm taking more damage than I'm doing. Take care of that. See, Arachne, if she... That's not the one to go for. Slow him down. Mesmerize. Oh, no, he's dead already. Let's finish him off. He's done. There we go. Now we can get the fire giant. Now we can get that fire giant. Okay, let's see here. Going for it. Let's go get it. I reckon he thinks we can just finish it off. I think we'll need the fire giant to do it still. So I'm going to go get the fire giant. It's only Thor to worry about, so I'll do it. I'll solo this. It's going to take a minute. While they deal with that, I'll do this. Oh. Sheesh. It's gonna take a second, though. See here, I have 22 seconds to do this. That's more than enough time. I got this. Unfortunately, Loki... Well, Loki might be back by the time I finish this. There you go. Good job to them for the Dia side. BVGN. Okay, wait. Waiting. 10 seconds here. Shoot, Hebo will not be where I am by the time I do this. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta finish this off. Okay, good, Hebo's over there. I can do this, I can do this. Don't die, Ymir. Don't die. Yep, I got it. Retreat, Ymir. Woo! VVGN, there we go, I got it. Loki got it as well. Woo, there we go. Let's finish this off. Let's finish this off. Attack right? Okay. Hmm, how are we doing here? So, okay, they didn't go for a right. I'll go push this. If I get attacked, I can always alt out. Alright, here we go. I still haven't gotten the magic. You know what? Actually, I could go for the gold fear. Let's go with the gold fear, actually. Let's go do that. I don't have the pushing power. I wish I had. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get the gold for you to help out the team. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yep, no one's here. Just do it. Some really nice crits going. I don't have the Deathbringer. Yet. Team's pushing. I'm going to get this for the team so they can build up some more if they need it. Oh, we're coming back. We've beaten them on gold now. That's good. There we go. Actually, I should stop doing that one. I'm doing more with the crits. What am I thinking? Ah, oh, they're taking out that phoenix. That's good. 
Looking pretty good there. Fire Giant definitely helps. There we go. Got some gold for everybody. Hmm, still can't afford the Magi. Alright. Let's do the ult to help out. Let's get in on this. I'm probably going to die after doing my ult. I bet you I'm going to die after doing my ult. Hey, guys. Now, where do I want to do this? Where do I want to do this? <laughs> I'm laughing that I'm just hanging out here, by the way. Yeah, here we go. Mesmerize. Got him. There we go. Let's finish this. Get my mana back. It's done. Good job. Good job, team. All right. We're able to pull that off. Uh, don't really think you get to laugh when you're doing 210, really. All right. Well, there we go. GG. Good job, team. Jeez, that was... That was a tough one. That was definitely a tough one. So this is his victory. He's being all pro with the harp. And then he lights it on fire. Wow. Vulcan was really good, by the way, though. That was a build worth paying attention to. Let's see here. So, the hell? So there, Apollo sold something to go for the next item. So let's see here. So, let's see here. Hebo... He's losing a bit, but he did a good job. Basically, beat the crap out of me pretty good. Most of his kills are probably me. Let's see here. I dead sometimes, probably. Let's see here. Thor is alright. Now, here's the build I want to look at. Okay, so Vulcan's build. So, he's got the Vol and the Warlock Sash, Boots, Magi, Sovereignty, Voidstone, Nimian Lion, and the one for Magic's Blessing. This is a pretty good tank build, I think. Especially for Vulcan. I, I really think so. The left lane was getting crushed though, they didn't have any melee, so maybe this is just because they're dealing with melees instead of no, no ranged. It's perfectly possible that maybe it's just because of what he was dealing with that he did so well, I don't know, but it was a nice build. At least in this match it was. And I see the, I see the potential to it, because it gives him power, HP, and then Sovereignty gives you a lot of defense. Void Zone is good for, of course, penetration. Naming Lion to deal with physicals, and then Magi is very nice. If you didn't know, the Magi's bubble, it doesn't just stop whatever hits you, like, it, well, it, it stops everything that hits you. If you get hit with an alt when you have the bubble, the entire alt doesn't do anything to you. So you can negate an amazing amount of damage from a mage using the Magi's Blessing. That is an amazing item to have. So, let's see here, anything else worthy of note? Anyone on our team had a good build? It's a pretty good standard build for Poseidon. I'm surprised he went for Polly first. Maybe he sold something and... Probably filled that spot. He did a good job. Instantly killing people with his 3-4 combo. People complaining about that combo a lot, and... Well, we saw some good examples of what it can do. Hmm, anything else? I, I like my build. I like my build. I don't know why people hate on it. If it didn't work, I wouldn't do it. Let's see here. KDs, scores, gold, and... Poseidon earned a holy crap amount of gold. Hmm. See there, Vulcan. Let's see your damage by Vulcan. Dang, he did the most damage on his team. Uh, Poseidon did the most on our team. Did a lot of creep. Jeez, he did a lot of creep damage. Oh, I did the most creep damage, I think. No, no. Poseidon did the most as well. Damage taken. Uh, everyone took a lot of damage. I took the most out of everyone. Ouch. Can't take a hit. Can't take a hit. All right, well, that's everything. There we go, we got to play him in, a, in Conquest, and it didn't go that, go half bad. Actually, went pretty good the first half, and then changed a bit, but then we won in the end. So, way to go to that. Next up will be Arena and Domination with him, we'll see how those go. And this is going to be a long one, that's for sure. Oh, I had fun, I hope you have fun watching. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.